Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'd like to welcome you all to a new web scraping challenge. <laughs> I've invented myself basically and the challenge is to write uh, this famous quote scraper using requests and beautiful soup in only two lines of code. And this assumes that the very first line of code would be the import part where we, where, where we would import all the libraries we need like requests beautiful soup and also i would like to import json to uh, be able to actually store the response to the uh, local file and the second line would be the entire scraper involving making get request parsing the content looping through the quotes extracting all the uh, necessary data and finally writing uh, this data structure uh, to a local file uh, with a JSON extension. So if you're interested in following this like Python web scraping challenge, buckle up and, we'll, and we begin basically. So here I have an instance of the terminal emu emulator being opened, uh, being opened on my desktop. So uh, for those of you who is not familiar uh, with Python web scraping that much, uh, I would need to say that in order to uh, be able to follow the steps uh, represented in this web scraping challenge you need uh, to have uh, two libraries uh, well three libraries being installed so um, if you're on windows you probably uh, can simply say like pip install and then the library name uh, so you would need to install the requests and this is not counted as a line because the packages uh, installation is not yet kind of uh, right in the web scraper uh, well but as far as I'm on Linux I need also to specify the sudo command and the uh, particular version of the pip I have because I have multiple pips installed so I just first I just want to show you how to install the dependencies using the pip uh, package install manager so this is how we can install request uh, library in order to be able to make uh, outgoing HTTP requests so obviously I already, I already have this installed and then we need to install the bs4 which stands for beautiful soup for the HTML parsing library and finally we need to install the LXML which helps beautiful soup to parse the HTML content so uh, with this three uh, kind of sort of uh, packages being installed we can actually start so let me just clear the screen and I just want to invoke the bare Python uh, interactive shell and here we go so the very first line I would like to say import requests and then bs4 and also i want to to import json module and json module would would be needed to uh would have served two purposes so uh just bringing the debugging information to screen so i, I would be altering this the single the single line of web scraper so first uh, i would make use of it just to print the response just to print just to print uh, the extract data to the console and then I would just alter exactly the same uh, string uh, the only line of code just to store the output to the JSON file so here is the very first uh, kind of line so line number one okay and now we go in for the line number two so uh, we will start by saying bs4 dot be beautiful beautiful soup and it would take two uh, arguments. Uh, I'll start with the second argument, which would be the LXML parser, the parser where we're supposed to be choose uh, in order to parse our content. You uh, also could have made use of HTML.parser if you don't have or don't want to install the LXML the way I've shown uh, before this, but I prefer LXML because it's kind of a little bit faster. And uh, the first argument we need to make an ongoing HTTP request to the this close to scream.com site and to extract the response text from there. And also, j just uh, before I start doing this, just want to mention that uh, obviously I'll rem I already remember by heart all the selectors, like uh, the selector for this quote, for the author here, for the tags, for the about link. So we would have been scraping the quote, author name, about link, and the list of uh, this tag. So this this, this tag would be the list of dictionaries with a uh, uh, that would be specifying like the tag name, like change date, thousands, and so on, and also the the corresponding URL that you can see in the uh, bottom left corner of the screen when I'm uh, 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 putting the mouse over the specific tag. So just to bear that in mind, so I, I won't I won't be really watching this selectors because like again I I, I totally I'll remember this by heart so let's move on basically so here we need to say requests.get and 
uh, we need to extract the text of the response and now let's specify the URL so I would like to say uh, HTTP and quotes dot to scrape dot com okay and already we can see uh, what we got here so here we got already uh, Mm, parsed content so we don't need the entire content we just need to say here dot find all and we're looking for all the divs uh, with the class equals to quote so uh, this is needed in order to obtain the list of uh, parent div quotes for uh, all the quote cards on the target site so div class quote and this is it so here we got a list and as far as we have a list we can now make a list comprehension here so we can loop over the quotes so i say for quote in this sort of a list and now for every quote we can actually start extracting our data and i would like to use the format of uh, python dictionary so we would have a list of dictionaries at the very end so now as far as we didn't specify anything this this is an empty uh list but it already contain up to 10 quotes available there so now let's specify the quote itself so uh quote would it be equal to uh and i'm using this this quote variable and this is the beautiful soup tag object so we can select recursively so i say dot find and i'm using find because we need to select the only element uh now the list of elements and here we're looking for a span tag with a class that equals to text and let's have a look what we got in return here so we got uh, uh our quotes oh so uh it's not yet uh the real quotes but instead it's kind of just the uh, html tag so in order to avoid this sort of behavior i need to specify dot text right over in here so dot text is like uh sorry uh just just a typo here dot text okay and also you see like it's not really that that nice uh to see uh, what's going on so uh i would like to uh Prettify this slightly a bit so mm, okay let's start from the, from the very beginning so i would like to print and then to say json uh, dot dumps and i want the indentation equals to two spaces and closing the print statement as well so here we got exactly the same data but already been pre-printed so now we can add a new keys and this would be pretty readable and uh, user-friendly a way of representing the data in the console so the next thing to consider so we did this did successfully extract our quote so now let's try to extract the author uh, as well so starting from here so i say author and the author would be equal quote dot find and uh this would be the skull the tag called small and we're looking for a class uh, author okay remember that i just remember this uh, selectors by heart that's the reason why i'm not watching uh, i'm not looking to the source code to obtain this and also we need to extract the text from here okay so now we get the quote and the author respectively and now let's try to extract the author link so uh if it just uh, going right over to the very end and here uh, just just to save the space uh, I won't be calling this author link I would just say link and this is kind of it and I would say quotes dot find and I'm looking for the a tag and I already know that the very first a tag represents the exact uh, kind of uh, the exact uh, link that we need so this is kind of it and I want to extract the H reference out there from out there uh, instead of this about word which stands for a text attribute so H reference okay quotes name not defined oh, I'm sorry not quotes but quote find I am really sorry this is just a little typo so let's try to fix this okay so now we get the link as well so the very last thing left here would it be actually to 
also also to scrape the list of tags so let's try to specify our tags as well so uh, now I'm going to the place where we uh, stop specifying our link so here let's consider the tags and the tags would be quote uh, this time I would be using find all because we're looking for a multiple elements and exactly we're looking for the a tag with a class equals to tag and if I just hit enter it would have give me the uh, not JSON serializable error we just can see this and this is happening because the text is treated to be as a list and obviously uh, we need to uh, extract some data from from this list as well because it's just look at it. the uh, first it's the list and then uh, and second it's the list of beautiful sub objects instead of like some textual data so I would uh, use a nested list comprehension right over here and here I, I would like to say for tag in this list of tags actually and for every tag I would like to specify again like this third uh, of uh, a dictionary so text would be the list of the dictionaries containing so let me just show you this okay invalid syntax I'm just wondering what's wrong there okay mm. oh, I just I, I did put this uh, in wrong place so I'm sorry so this should have be this like and then start the list and and the list comprehension this should work now not again okay let me just uh, fix this okay it seems that uh, I've missed the closing uh, curly braces here Cur curly brace here so this one now this should work I hope so yeah perfect so now we get the tags but they're empty at the moment so we just can calculate kind of the number of tags but obviously we also need to specify the uh, tag specific uh, data being extracted so this tag would uh, would contain what well, let's call this a tag itself and here we simply say tag dot text and also we want to specify the URL for a given tag so the URL would be equal tag and the attribute of each reference so this like so let's have a look what we got okay so it seems like we got uh, already the data set that we wanted to obtain so we got the quote author link tags list and every tag uh, is a list uh, so every tag is a dictionary so key tag with the uh, tag itself and URL specifying the URL for this particular kind of tag and the, and we got this dictionary for literally every uh, single quote in this list so up to 10 quotes overall so th as far as uh, this uh, list seems to be pretty pretty nice already so I guess it's now just time to actually write this uh, to a file basically so uh, let's actually try to do this so uh, just to uh, uh, just to not just just to avoid malforming uh, this quotes so um, we will need uh, uh, to create a file stream and then say f dot write if f is a file stream so i guess i could have used instead of this oh no hold on a sec we use json dumps anyway because yeah because we need to the, we want this json file to have the indentations within within the file so we can uh, just replace our print with this f dot write but we didn't yet specify the f variable so in order to do this I need simply to say with open and as file, right? So now we did specify our f variable, and now I just want to specify uh, the name for the file. So this would be quotes.json. Okay, and I want to write by, uh, I want to write to the file stream, not write bytes, but just simply write the file stream. And I hold my breath and really hope this would. Uh, create a file in return so uh, just to show you guys that I don't yet have this kind of file on my desktop right so if I just run this okay so we did write some bytes and here we got the file called quotes.json so let's have a look okay it seems like we got our quotes uh, being extracted uh, uh, so this quotes that were extracted are being pre printed within this JSON file 
uh, and this we, we got a local file basically so this is kind of it guys this is the whole challenge believe it or not so uh, I don't know uh, if you whether whether you have enjoyed this or not but uh, anyway uh, I believe that this like exercises really helps beginners to improve their Python skills as, uh, especially like list comprehension skills and also data structure uh, referencing skills and maybe uh, Python uh, uh, Python source code obfuscation skills as well and this all these skills uh, in my personal opinion are really kind of valuable uh, if you're an expert in web scraping and if you're uh, doing some web scraping so uh, I encourage you guys to try this sort of uh, of a challenge yourselves if you want to improve your python i would leave uh, this two lines uh, of code to obtain this sort of a uh, output file uh, in the description below this video but before cheating and trying to copy paste that in your terminal and trying to run my code i highly encourage you guys to try uh, this this sort uh, of a task of a challenge on your own and Mm, this would be a fantastic experience, I promise you. So this is it for this tutorial. I wish you all the best. Until the next time and take care.